Boy, the TV's loud, isn't it? Give me one second. Okay, so uh, thinking a lot about stuff. So I realized, you know, I can do anything I want. Everything's possible. Yada yada yada. I'm not gonna tell you the stuff that you'll corrupt, or not just corrupt, but you know, put like bullshit in between, like filters and stuff. So. I uh, found a way of wording the complex here. Oh, y'all finally got y'all's little dance of king. Is that that doesn't even make sense? Come on, guys. Anyway, um, you know it is. Everybody just keeps adding logic to everyone else's life to prevent them from getting what they want if they can't have what they want, and that's where this is coming from, which doesn't even make any fucking sense. Uh, so all that being said. Figuring out the pattern here. So you got these guys that just want to get what they want right now. And the issue is, is they have to go through constants. And what constants is, is pretty much um, the connected passage of logical events. Meaning, if you imagine right now is a color, and let's say the color is red, um, these guys pretty much are stuck having to go through a passage of tone in order to get to uh, the color blue. And so instead of them being able to just go from red to blue, they have to go from red, uh, tones of red headed towards purple, purple, all the tones of purple, tones of purple headed towards blue, tones of blue, and then blue. And that's, that's pretty much what constance is. It's that connected passage of events that prevents yourself from losing immediate navigational hold on the environment. Uh, and so what these guys are doing is they're targeting very, very intelligent people who have the ability to evade constants, and they're adding logical structure that prevents those guys from doing that easily so that when they accomplish it, it's considered unfair to the guys targeting these intelligent individuals. And what these guys targeting the individuals will do whenever those intelligent individuals evade their form of constancy. And what their form of constancy, no, no, I'm sorry, they're pretty much going to say, See, I don't have to make sense. I don't have to make sense. Fuck this. And they're going to start fighting and they're going to start being aggressive. And that's their goal here. That's why they target intelligent guys. That's why they mainly put all their effort on restricting intelligent guys so that they can learn from intelligent guys how to get around um, their constants hold, which is what's preventing them from being able to just make the environment whatever they want right now. Um, and so these guys, uh, they, they attack by adding logic, by pretty much saying, uh, so let's say that there's nothing here, and then suddenly there's something, uh, because nothing is something, yada, yada, yada. So the, what these guys are doing is, in every single occurrence of event, like a logical passage of event, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, and so it'll lead to success. What they do is, before it leads to success, they say, but, and then add their logic. And what this is is, Events have a logical flow of consistency through them, and so they have to make sense uh, and hold themselves together within this state of constancy. What these guys are always doing with their resisted state is adding a logic that disrupts the flow of the current of that logic, uh, of logical currency, so that they, so that what we're doing can't be tangible. And so pretty much it's like these guys are, are pretty much saying, I don't believe, I, I, this is all I understand, the historical precedent, if you guys do this, it won't make sense to me. And if it doesn't make sense, then the environment doesn't need to make sense and I'll do whatever I want. And so what they're doing is whenever we're getting to the point of being successful, they're adding a restrictive logic to it that cuts off the flow of tangibility. And by cutting off the flow of tangibility, we're forced to make extreme jumps and extreme challenges um, uh, towards defying this, this form of constants, this restrictive constants. And and like I said, these guys are just waiting on us to say, it doesn't matter, I can just do whatever I want so that they can do that to us. Um, so don't worry, I'm working on a plan for pretty much just like committing mass murder all in one spot. So I have that worked out. Uh, not terrorism, I'm not gonna do it physically. Um, uh, uh, it is gonna happen physically, but I'm not gonna do it physically. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna tell anybody anything. I'm not gonna order anything. I'm not gonna make any bombs. 
you need to understand uh, I'm I'm very real here. I can do whatever I want. Um, so all that being said, and I'm only targeting the guys that are getting in the way of everyone else's success, by the way. So like once again, one of these guys just added he points at himself here because that's all that's his strategy. His strategy is, yeah, but that applies to you. Yeah, but that applies to you. Don't worry, this one's my favorite. I love messing with him. I love torturing him. Um, so pretty much hold on. Get a strong voice. Should I do need to do milk? Fuck, I need to do milk. Listen, China. Yeah. Whatever. It's not the big word. Okay. Making some horchata, and I'm gonna eat the rice with some corn. Milky rice with corn. That sounds delicious. And green beans. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah. So pretty much. With that being said, I also have another uh, logical channel here. Uh, logical restriction. It's pretty much these guys who believe in like. Uh, how do I say this? Elementary um, syllogisms. Where if blank occurs. Uh, sorry. If blank is true, then blank. Then so will occur. Yeah. If blank is true, then so will occur. And what they're doing is they're pretty much already existing. They're existing. They're coming across things that already have the, the worked out tangible logic like what I'm doing right now. And so what they get told is if you press this button, then this works. And, and so these guys with that sort of logic are going around with that level of, of consistency, of constants. And they're saying, wait a second, you're not doing what I got told here. Uh, a good example. Um, so I had this uh, little, little debacle with my stepfather where he tells he says that i have to sweep the floor in grids in order to in order for there to not be dirt and and there's a little passive game between us still where where if i don't sweep in a grid then i'm always going to step on some form of dirt like a, a rice that fell on the floor or something just because i didn't sweep in a grid and by sweeping a grid i mean sweeping like like i'm mowing the lawn right now if i know i spilled something over here and and all the mess is over here and I haven't stepped on anything before this point, except for over here. If I don't sweep in a grid, then I'm going to step on something because I didn't sweep on the grid. And this is the this is that elementary syllogism I'm talking about. Didn't do this, so blank occurred. Now, what's happening with this form of syllogism is that these guys are also putting route and physical energy into it. Intentional energy, intentional energy and route energy. And, and by this, I hate to say energy here, but that's the best way to communicate it to the audience that's struggling and moving me right now. Um, what's happening is these guys have these beliefs. They've worked so far. And what's occurring? This is what's occurring. They said, that's the way it's been this long. That's the way it's been so far. That can't just stop. And that's their bet here, is that it would be unethical for something that they trust and that makes sense for them to just suddenly vanish. And to an extent, that's true. We would lose navigation. We would lose a lot of structure, a lot of reasonability. And so they're making a pretty healthy bet here. And so what these guys are doing is they're getting in the way. They're saying, no, you didn't, you didn't elementary syllogism, so this will never work. Now, here's a good example of, of why that's fucking dumb. So you guys know electricity, this and that. Now. Let's say a guy spent his whole life fucking seeing you connect coils and, and you already have batteries and all he ever sees is batteries and that's how he explains electricity. And this guy's saying, you know, electricity, obviously you need metal to conduct it. Well, obviously you need, it needs to come from some sort of, some sort of ionic metal, this and that. If you tell this guy, hey, I want to make a clock using a potato as the fucking battery, he's going to say, Elementary syllogism, so that can't be true. No, you you need metal. You need you need uh, you need ionic. You you need ionic fluid. You need you need to contain a battery. You, you can't do that. You can't do that. And so, that's where we are now. We're at guys that don't believe in potato clocks. Um, 
pretty much the way of getting around that is just continuing to go. They'll get stubborn, they'll mess up your projects, they'll piss you off. They'll, they'll start going for ethical reasons why you shouldn't be allowed to accomplish your goal once they see that you actually have enough confidence to continue to be real and especially make sense, such as myself. And so they'll start pissing you off. They'll say, look at him. He, he's too, he's too, he's got anger issues. Look at him, he, look at him. He's a bad person. Look at what he did because he got mad because I was tripping him and frustrating him because I didn't want to be wrong. Look at him, that's why he can't be successful. You know, they'll go for all the logical structures that host tangible and physical occurrence. And, and this is how you know that they have some sort of natural sense of what I'm discussing despite they're using elementary syllogism. Or how do I say this? Let's say precedental syllogism. Let's say precedental syllogism. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I'm a fucking genius for that. Okay, so pretty much where we are now. Oh, my fucking milk. Oh, damn. Damn. God damn. God damn. God damn. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me turn this down. Okay. So, yeah, pretty much there. And now we're at the guys that like, let's say like a guy, I don't know how to say this. All right, uh, no, I do not say this. So, guy believes that you can't make a potato clock because you need batteries and you need, you need, you need the, uh, some sort of, conductive reactive fluid that's based in metal um in some way right and and he he is at this point where if you actually succeed at making a potato clock work he's gonna fucking lose his sanity he's gonna be like what the fuck no fuck that this doesn't make sense anymore threat of constants Constant's loss, now he's more aggressive. Now he doesn't have to make as much sense because he was using precedental syllogism to justify his continued occurrence. So, that's where we are. We're at people who don't want to go insane uh, by me just using logic and tangible structure to make new devices. Um, pretty much saying, well, even, if that's, even if that all makes sense, even if that all makes it, here's where we're at, we're at, even if that makes sense, even if it logically adds up, even if it's tangible, I just refuse for that to physically occur. And so what these guys are going through is a huge loss of energy and navigation. They're likely having to stick together in, in tighter groups um, because they need each other's short reaches of logic to justify their continued occurrence. Um, and so, yeah, we're at, we're at this point. Also, um, hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty much, I'm just, uh, I'm just, man, I'm really excited to get going. I'm really excited to see people go, well, fuck, there's no reason why it can't work. And then for them to add the whole, yeah, but it just doesn't for some reason. And, and what that does is that cuts everybody off. I know that. And when, whenever they go, yeah, but it still just doesn't work because th there are rules, because there's something that I can't say that I don't know. And, and I have faith in that and I'm putting my life on that and you'll have to kill me in, in order for it to work. <laughs> oh shit, man. Yeah, anyway, um, that's where we are. So at that point, I think I have a good enough hold. I've created enough believability. I've created enough tangibility. I've gotten people to stop acting in physical resistance to the occurrence. Uh, and so now we got these couple of pimples here. No, no, they're they're not they're not loud right now. They're not loud. They're not. I, it hurt for a second, but all right. I mean, shit. I don't know. Now we're at the phase where everybody's just like, all right. I just want to prove that even if he just because he thinks he's smarter than everything doesn't mean it's just gonna work. Yeah, this, I found you. So this is where we are right now. This guy is just like doing this all the time, and he won't admit it. And he's just like, yeah, but it still just won't work. Even if you convince everybody, if there's just something that I don't know, and that's why it won't happen. There's just something that, yeah, just keeps applying that the life is so far over our heads that we can never have control over it. And that's why he's in the chaotic mess and depressed and taking it out on me. Um, so, yeah. Gonna fucking make so much. Wonder if the camera flipped around. fucking find you I want to see what you believe I want to see what you can say is still happening at that point I try to make sense without saying something that I said I try to make sense without relying on me yeah so pretty much 
I just, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, just continuing to work. I mean, I know it makes sense. Because if we only had to rely on uh, physical, uh, I mean, on physical presidential um, syllogism, then we wouldn't exist in the first place, according to your law of constants. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, but there's something, there's just something in the way. There's just, <laughs> there's just something you don't get. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Don't worry. I'm just emo. I'm not emo. I'm very justified here. You people know what you did to me. I fucking hate you. I can't fucking stand you. Okay, so... yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what they think here. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah. That was a good manifestation. It's just... It's just some... It's like, oh, I know everything except for this one thing. And it's like, no, it's, you have to go back. You have to go all the way back. You don't get to just make sense of it here and change it and fix that. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're saying that there's just this thing, this this really, really tiny fucking thing that's just unfixable, that I just chose not to respect. But it's obviously just their effort. It's obviously just their resistance, their effort. That's why they always cut me off. That's why they always try to break my logic before everything I want becomes tangible. That's what the competition is here. And so they're saying like, no, you just need to go back and respect this first and then start there. And I'm like, I did respect it. You're the one that kept fucking switching your perspective in order to create this. And yeah, so yeah, that's where we are. And watch how many guys start being like, uh, um, uh, yeah, but he, it worked when he was doing it. Yeah, but weren't you one of the guys that was saying it wouldn't work? Shut up. Shut up, that. I'm so sick of him getting what he wants. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I have a lot of joy here. There's a lot of there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain here. Um, alright. Hold on, let me let me stir my rice. Hmm. There you go. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there. Oh, no! No! Okay, then we're gonna put some more in there. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. And so, get, I'm just gonna boil some more milk. Just get the milk hot and then drain it into that. I need to get the essence of the rice in there. Yes, yes. into the milk, let the milk get hot, let the milk get hot, let the milk boil, probably should not have put so much rice in this, probably should not have put so much rice in this, but I intended to eat the rice, I can't apologize, damn, that's how high up I am right now, that's crazy bro, no, 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 it's okay, I just spilled some milk, I'm sorry, I, I overreacted, okay, hold on. Let me just keep stirring this. Mm. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, logical precedence. He said hi. That means that he's doing distances of, of going up. That means that if he changes what he's saying here, he doesn't make sense. And he's a fucking liar. And that's why he'll never be happy. And I'm going to be happy. That's why. <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm not a monster. Should I use the cheese grater to. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm just gonna wait till the milk gets hot enough to. Ooh, fuck! You know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder what everybody's all like. Oh man, I'm so surprised it actually does make sense. Oh man, now I just now I'm scared that it just isn't gonna happen. <laughs> and now and now they're now they're all like. Yeah, I was I was hoping that I would be overwhelmed and and completely because I wanted to justify being allowed to overwhelm everybody else with what I wanted and not have to explain myself as much, which is why I say he still hasn't ever explained enough for it to work for me because I need I need to use him as a strategy for not for the things that I can't explain and want to do. Okay, hold on. Wow. That, ooh. Ooh, yeah. 
Oh, hell yeah. Oops. Okay, ooh. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh. Rice fell out of my mouth. Okay, um, all right, hold on. I'm loving Smiling Friends, by the way. This this new season is so amazing, bro. Mm. Mm. Oh fuck, so fucking delicious, bro. It's getting hot. I'm gonna do a flash boil right quick. I just don't want to lose any of this milk. Uh, for all you guys that think that you're so important that you can just bet your life and you'll always survive, just know this. Nothing something that's heaven, baby. That's fucking heaven. And I see what y'all just did there. We all know why that logic occurred. We all know why that logical statement occurred. We all can see the logical structure. That that's why we're at war. All right. All right. Um. Anyways, y'all are getting in the way of heaven at this point. And at this point, I mean, a resource that obstructs, you know, the pleasure of life itself is not necessary. And so all of that can just be. I don't know, a race, not a race, but, you know, eliminated and redistributed into something that actually has a beneficial effect on shared real life. You know what I'm saying? So don't go thinking you're immortal. <laughs> that applies to you. That's what he said to us. That's why we're doing it to him. <laughs> All right. Love you guys.